all scuba divers know about nitrox, but how do you actually make nitrox? Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to the Scuba Diving Magazine channel, your favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. And welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I, Mark, former dive instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. Um, this week, I'm answering questions about nitrox and how it's made. Uh, but if you do have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this Ask Mark hashtag. That gets it featured in an up and coming video. Um, and in the meantime, I do my best to type out an answer. And the community does an awesome job of answering questions as well so thank you everyone for doing that um, but yeah let's start talking about nitrox so Freder one says hey mark thanks for all your great content you are welcome uh, can you please discuss the ins and outs of partial versus continuous blend and banked if that's different uh, nitrox i know you need an o2 cleaned cylinder for partial blending but not for continuous blending can you go back and forth between air and nitrox fills with continuous blend or banked thanks uh, so i'll answer that question quickly um whether you can like go backwards and forwards it's it's kind of a yes um it might be regional uh but it's best just to know the filler as long as they're legit will know what to do uh and know what like quality of air to fill if you only want air in your nitrox cylinder of course you just ask for that and they'll give you what we used to call clean air goes through well it went through an extra filter so it is just better um but it is a bit more expensive because we have to pay for that extra filter uh, but yeah for for nitrox there are at least four ways of making nitrox um, or at least getting nitrox into your cylinders and as we all know nitrox is a blend of normal air and you put some pure oxygen in or the highest grade oxygen that you can and that just elevates the percentage of oxygen which in turn reduces the amount of nitrogen that's in the the gas mix um, and we go scuba diving with it now uh yeah as i said four at least four there's probably another one or two that i'm not thinking of um but yeah the first one is banked that you mentioned banked nitrox is where they'll basically make up a huge cylinder probably like a j cylinder um which is we call banks they're big big cylinders that you get filled up at like industrial sites and they'll fill it with a particular nitrox blend so you have this huge cylinder full of 30 percent nitrox and then you rock up to the dive center and say hello i would like a 30 percent nitrox fill yes sir they'll connect it and they'll decant some of that gas volume into your cylinder the tricky part for the um, for the filler is that whenever you connect two cylinders they'll always try to equalize pressures so if you just have one single bank cylinder and multiple smaller cylinders to fill up with as soon as they reach the same pressure it'll stop so once that bank cylinder gets down to like 190 bar you can only fill up 190 bar so we'd have multiple staggered banks big cylinders and you take like the cream of the crop right at the end so you'd have this one cylinder that was about 150 bar fill it as much as you can close that one move on to the next one and then just sort of work your way up so you're not wasting the uh, the real high pressure stuff uh, but yes yeah, so that's banked it's nice and uh, it's quite easy however if you have anything different if you just have air inside of your cylinder even like 50 bar um, from the end of the previous dive and then you just put 30 percent in it's going to dilute it slightly um, and vice versa if you have like 36 percent uh, or higher and then you fill it with 30 percent it's going to dilute it so you're not going to just because you fill it with 30 percent it might not be exactly 30 percent of what's actually in there once it's all mixed in your cylinder so that's a real downside of banks it's quite easy but you don't get much control over what's actually going to be the end result percentage wise inside of that cylinder at my dive center uh, we use uh, partial pressure blending which is you use pure oxygen so you have one of those big cylinders a bank cylinder of pure oxygen or it's like 
96%. Um, there's always a little asterisk next to it because trying to get 100% uh, is really quite hard. So it'll be between like 96 and 98% uh, oxygen, uh, but that's pretty darn close. Um, and just pure air. So what we do is we take your cylinder, we'd analyze the gas that's already inside of it, we'd take the cylinder pressure as well, do a bit of calculations. Uh, we've got apps um, that do it nowadays. We used to do use a, um, a chart that someone worked out for us, uh, but now you just type in all that information into an app, um, hit enter, and the app will tell you, right, fill up that cylinder with pure oxygen up to a certain pressure, and then top it up all the way with air, and that will get you your desired nitrox mix. Partial pressure blending, very, very flexible because yeah, you're using pure oxygen, so you can pretty much get whatever you want. You kind of have to take your time with it because as cylinders are filled up, they get hot, and then as they cool back down, the pressure drops. So to get an accurate fill, it's best to take as much time as possible. Um, and also, as you mentioned, because you're filling the cylinder with pure oxygen, it's quite easy to go over that 40% um, uh, percentage wise. So, um, so yeah, it's very high concentrations of oxygen going into your cylinder. Uh, so you do need to be careful, uh, make sure it's using all the right greases and all that kind of stuff, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, you're not gonna get any kind of um, uh, ignition risks. So yeah, it is quite a, um, risky kind of way of filling your cylinders um but hey it's once you use a calculator it's quite simple uh, another popular one is membrane so a membrane filter works with i can't make sure i get it the right way around so you kind of have one compressor that sucks the air in it goes through all of its filters to make sure the air is nice and clean uh, gets rid of all the um, uh, the moisture as well it then goes through a very special membrane filter which basically separates the oxygen from the nitrogen and then with a little valve that is usually on top but i imagine it could be anywhere um, you can control how much nitrogen is ejected and that way you then control the oxygen percentage because you're reducing the amount of nitrogen and uh, and yeah you get nitrox that way uh, you then get like a second compressor that sucks that um, like created nitrox and then pumps it into the cylinder which is pretty cool um i've never used one myself uh, but i've seen how they work and yeah there's a lot of moving parts but it's quite quite clever um the fourth one that you mentioned was uh, continuous continuous is well i've never seen it myself uh, i've seen it online but i've never seen it in person um and you basically have it's similar to partial pressure blending in that you have pure oxygen and an air compressor but in the middle before it reaches your cylinder you have this kind of blending chamber that you can control you have an, a uh, an oxygen sensor down at the bottom that once you get the right airflow or oxygen flow into this like blending chamber in this uh, in the center you push the gas through and then the compressor takes that and then fills your gas from that um i've seen people and um, because you're not putting pure oxygen directly into the cylinder, you don't have to worry about the uh, the ignition risks in uh, of the greases and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's it's quite unusual, and I've seen people like literally make their own blending chamber, uh, which is kind of cool, but does kind of freak the HSE side of my brain out. Um, but yeah, it it. it blends the uh, the gas externally and then it pumps it into your cylinder so there's yeah as far as i know four different versions uh there might be another uh, if there are any others that i've forgotten then pop them down in the comment section um but yeah i think the most common are partial and membrane uh you tend to see membrane a fair amount or most of the liverpools that i've been on have got a membrane compressor uh so they can fill nitrox fills um that way they don't have huge stocks of, uh, of oxygen, compressed oxygen on board. Um, and But the downside is, is that you, you basically, that's your nitrox mix. You take it or leave it um, when, you're, when you're like blending. Because usually 
the first dive, you just get air, everyone's on air, uh, and then after that, you can start using a nitrox um, uh, indicator, start getting nitrox fills, and then because you're blending just normal 21% uh, air in the remainder of your cylinder, they fill it with 30%, you'll get like 28 or something, and then it just kind of fluctuates around 30%. Um, but yeah, partial pressure blending uh, we used to use, and Touchwood, it was quite accurate. It's the main downside is, yeah, equalizing pressures. So if someone came in with a cylinder that was mostly full and the pressure inside of the customer's cylinder was higher than that in the cylinder, I mean, you have non-return valves and stuff. Um, but if you had, or if you didn't have the pressure in the oxygen cylinder, uh, it was quite tricky um, to, um, uh, to force it into the, um, uh, the cylinder. So you'd have to like bleed theirs down empty that and then you could fill it up. Um, it's all a, all a balancing act when you're filling up cylinders. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, those are the four methods of making nitrox. Um, my personal preference is on partial, probably just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, then membrane. Um, I don't know enough about continuous to, um, uh, to kind of vouch for it. I've heard good things online, but I've never seen it myself. Um, and then banked. <laughs> Banked is fine, but that would be my last choice, uh, unless I specifically know I've got 30% in my cylinder and I want 30%. Um, that's the perfect arrangement, otherwise it's just kind of a gamble. Um, but let me know what you think down in the, uh, the comments below. Uh, if you've built a continuous blending chamber, uh, by all means let me know. I'll be fascinated to learn more about them. Um, and any other questions that you have, pop them down in the comment section. Uh, remember to use this AskMark hashtag, that will get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, otherwise, remember to head over to our different websites, all around the interweb. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.